In this video we'll be watching the best replays from the 4th event of the World Cup. And we'll start out by watching Luz Kuzrik here, who plays 85th in this event. And after that we'll take a more detailed look at the level, see what style he used and what other people might be using, and from there we'll work our way up the list and see how people managed faster and faster times in this very insane event. And here's Luzko's run, 85th place. Let's see, starting out here by dropping down to the polygon below the starting polygon, and jumping up here, and coming for this hang, the small one, to come up to one of the top apples in this level. And coming up here and doing a beautiful vault to get in with a back wheel hang for this first apple, coming down out here towards the left now. Now you have two apples out here towards the left. He grabs the first one and then coming back towards the right here after that. So let's see, coming down again to the same polygon where he was before, beneath the start. But coming up here on the right, gonna be grabbing this first apple and the second one really close here. Now he just has one more apple out, way out to the, to the left. And let's see, coming down, going below here and gonna get this last apple from below. And now he has to turn and get back to the flower and the last apple which are in the same place. And he does so easily and grabs the flower. Now this fourth event was a level made by ICS and you can tell it's really crazy with a lot of hangs, a lot of apples and a lot of things you can invent. But for now I think we'll focus a little bit more on the middle part here because I don't believe that these loops and the ground in this level will actually be used that much. So if we zoom in in this kind of general area we can start to take a look at Lusko's style. He came out here and to the polygon beneath the hang, jumped and then he actually hung this polygon so he's on the outside, came into this loop and then he hung this apple polygon as well grabbing the apple came down here and from here he jumped a little bit to get more speed towards the right so he managed to do a long jump here and then he could actually hang this polygon so this time he's on the underside of it and came up here got a nice kick from this polygon to get this apple and also get this one and came straight through all the way down here to the straight polygon and from here he managed to get a nice kick from the cane to come down grab this apple and then come straight back for the last apple and the flower so a pretty creative style by Lusku but we can already tell there are some places where you're crisscrossing and we know we don't like that going in the same place more than once not always ideal so what else could we do to save some time here well we could try to work our way from the right to the left instead and that could look something like maybe dropping down here getting a hang around this polygon and swing all the way up to the right this was possible but you needed a really good hang and then after grabbing this apple you could maybe come back and then do you do what Lusco did here come around all this way grabbing these two apples and maybe here you could grab this one but get over this polygon and then come into this last loop and down for the apple and the flower. Now if you're a veteran Elastomania player you will see that there is maybe potential for a crazy shortcut here which would be some kind of brutal vault and push and something to just barely get up here so you're skipping this entire loop here but believe me I tried that style for so long and was never able to do it even with Taz so don't actually know if we're gonna see it. Now a final style we could look at would be to start out to the right here doing the Lusco style coming around up for this top apple but from here you could turn around and come and grab these two right apples because you might as well when you're up here and then you could get a nice kick from here come down and do the insane hang but do it the opposite way of Lusco fly up all this way grab this apple come down here grab this as your final one and then yeah flower and the last apple as well. So a lot of styles and options this level and I'm super happy and thankful to Hoge who compiled a list of all the best replays of the major styles and routes. So instead of doing the normal like arbitrary numbers this time we will actually be watching based on that list and based on the different ways that people approach this level. So instead of just arbitrarily watching the hundredth place this time uh, let's see it was Magic Man actually who came in at a 5896 very nice. We will continue down and then we saw Lusku's replay which was the first one at 5181 and also worth noting actually up here Sifias in 102nd place I guess he didn't really play this event let's see what that means for the future of his cup but uh, two skips are allowed so it should still be fine but from Lusku's 85th place we'll work our way down to 74th place where we have Flop one of the newcomers to the scene with a very nice time 4839 don't know if he had help from others in uh, Elma Enthusiast or Challenge Enthusiasts but let's check out Flop's run so here's Flop's replay also starting out towards the right here let's see jumping up is it gonna be the Lusku start I guess he will go for the top apple with, with grabbing speed here actually not he's not coming up to the top apple he's going for the leftmost apple first I never even contemplated this style and let's see, coming around, not grabbing the like top left apple there, 
the beautiful spins to make it up to this top apple. This start, this style looks so hard to do. And coming out here, beautiful brutal vault to come up and grab the top right apple. This is a crazy style. It looks so hard. <laughs> but coming around here and getting a huge amount of speed, now gonna be grabbing that second left top apple. And then he just, yeah, he just drops straight down for the flower and the last apple. Because he already grabbed that leftmost one. Really, really nice style and beautiful push from that square to come in for the flower. But beautiful stuff by Flop. And I really, really like this, like just spamming all of but timing the push there so you get enough height to grab this top apple. Really nice stuff by Flop. And let's see, the next replay we'll be watching is actually, I think, another EE player or CE player, and that is Grace. Though she's not in EE here, so I don't know if she shared styles with Flop, but a 47.20 is a mighty impressive time. Let's check out Grace's run. Let's see. Grace also starting out towards the right. Is it gonna be hang? Is she gonna draw, drive on top of the polygon? Looks like a two-wheel hang. Is that gonna be enough, actually, to jump up to do the Lusco start? It's not. Coming out here, also gonna be going for this left hand. Maybe she did share styles with Flop. Let's see, coming in here for the auto spam as well, getting the push from this hang, and coming in for the hang for the top apple here. And let's see, hard to avoid your chin there, I can imagine. Also coming in for the brutal vault, grabbing this uh, last right hand apple. And let's see, coming down here, is it gonna be the crazy hang as well? It is, but a two wheel hang this time. And then gonna come up here, grab this last apple, and also gonna be dropping not straight down. Coming out here for the left again, going where you had this apple before. But maybe this is the faster ending compared to Flop's drop. Interesting, very similar style, but still not the same end. So did they communicate or not? Who knows? And the next replay we're gonna be watching is actually right here. Stefan Kiv comes in at a 46.54, a 0.7 improvement on Grace's time. Let's see. Starting out towards the left, it's the first left start that we've had so far. And he does drop down here and he goes on top of this big hang here instead of hanging it. That's so much faster if you have enough speed to make it up. And it looks like he barely has enough speed. He just makes it up to grab these top two right hand apples. And let's see, he comes back after grabbing these two apples. And now it's probably gonna be the Lusco style here. Let's see, coming up here with a lot of speed, coming in for the hang and manages even a two wheel hang here so he can push down and get more speed in this loop. Let's see, coming up, just jumps and barely grabs his apple. And then gonna be coming out for the last left top apple here and coming out for the left hand apple. Really beautiful style, really clean execution. And let's see the ending here. You had to break, it was a little bit awkward. But he manages and he comes down for a 46.54. And the next replay we'll be working our way down to is gonna be the style of the flower touching men. We have Abula in 57th place at 45.65. We're dropping really fast in time for a level that could be this hoiled. And here we have Abula's replay. Too old school for a custom shirt, but at least it's not Lusco's shirt anymore. Let's see, coming down here. And uh, let's see, is this, is he gonna be able to jump up? No. He gets like really nice pushes with this spin, so he has a lot of speed out here towards the left. And let's see, coming out here, is it gonna be the EE style? It's a nice push on the side of that polygon as well, but doesn't continue out towards the right. He actually comes down here towards the left to grab this last apple up here. And now he just has the top right apples left. So let's see, he comes in and now it's kind of the Lusco style doing the hang here to swing up all the way. And uh, nice push, very, very clean. Comes in and grabs these two apples and now he just has the flower and the last apple left. Let's see, drops all the way through here, manages to avoid and dodge everything and grabbing the last apple and getting the flower. Really, really nice style by Abula and Team FM. And from here, we're just dropping down two positions from 57th place to 55th place, where we have Mats, the cookie monster himself. And let's see, Mats also starting out towards the right here. Gets a good push here from the start poly and comes down. And a hang here probably means he's gonna go for the top apple first, the top middle apple. And let's see, gets a good two wheel hang so he can push down into this loop and then goes low to grab this apple, but continue out towards the left. Let's see, gets a hang here. Is he gonna turn here? No, he actually continues out towards the left. So he has grabbed all the left hand apples now and the top apple. So just the two, and he, wait, what is this style? Can he get up? Oh, that's such a sick route. That feels like an insane shortcut to just fly through everything. But comes up here for the right hand apples, grabbing them both. Now it's just the flower and the last flower apple as well and doing the kind of Abula dodging on the way down, and he grabs a flower. Really beautiful style, and I really like, we haven't seen this so far, going the other way in this loop and just managing this very, very long 
flying segment to get up to the polygon beneath the start and then just straight up for the top right apples. Really fun to see so many different styles. And now we're gonna make a little bit bigger leap. We're gonna get down into 47th place actually. And uh, sorry Ismo, we're skipping your replay this time because we have such an extensive list by Hogge. And in 47th place we have Ilka at 44.30 and Ilka's run. Oh, very different start to vault up there so he can get up to this hang. What is this style? Wait. This is completely different, but yeah, he comes out here and we've seen the basic style so far, but now gonna be coming out for these pushes. It's a really nice push from that polygon coming out here and then gonna be coming down, grabbing the, all the left hand apples first and then gonna be jumping up towards the right. Is this the Abula style? Am I remembering correctly? I think it is, but with a very different start. So let's see, yeah, gets a good two wheel hang here and has way more speed than he needs even to come up here for the top right apples. Beautiful pushes, such a clean run by Ilka here, and very clean drop as well, and grabbing the last apple and a flower. But yeah, just coming up here, going a little bit back to get a push, so he has exactly enough speed to do this long jump for this hang, and then coming down here for the second hang, and then down. So it's kind of the same route that we've seen, but a very, very different start. And just to give you an idea, we have seen some starts where they come down for this polygon here, and then maybe do some nice pushes from polygons here. But coming down out towards the left and then up and grabbing these apples with nice like pushes here as well. But Ilke manages to find a shortcut by just coming up here, dropping down and using this hang as well to come out with a little bit less speed but a way shorter route. And from Ilke's 47th place we take a huge leap into 46th place where we have DCEM with a 0.17 improvement on Ilke's time. And here we have DCEM style starting out towards the left. We have seen this I think only once so far but beautiful pushes so we can get a nice break push for a lot of speed and you do need a lot of speed to make it all the way up here but gets a good grip and good gas there. Goes even on top of this polygon not even hanging it. And let's see, he does go for the Brutal. Is this possible? No, okay, he doesn't make it straight up to the Apple. But let's see. Oh, he's... <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? If you can't make it to the Apple, just come back and grab a little bit of speed. And then just barely manages to pick that Apple. And coming out here, and gonna be grabbing. And now he just has two more Apples. This is, like, by far the smoothest style if you can do it well, it feels like. And let's see. Oh, beautiful end bounce to avoid that awkward hang in the end. And just straight for the flower. Has a lot of speed so he can go on top of this apple which you need to. To be able to come down with a lot of ferocity and a nice brutal. DCEM known for doing the ramp frenzy brutal. So of course he had to go for this style. But not making it up to the apple. Has to come back and grab a little bit more speed. Then grabbing the apple and coming out for the rest. And a beautiful end bounce as well to avoid that last part of that loop. And just to visualize it again. If you can do this style. Come around here on top here. Up and grab this apple. Then you have like just a string of all the apples in a row. And it just feels so natural to grab all these apples like this and then coming for the flower. There's basically zero downtime. You're not using any of these polygons that don't have apples. It's like, it, it just feels like the most efficient style possible. But again, might be impossible or just very hard. So DCEM did a nice route by just coming down here and grabbing that little bit of extra speed. And from DCEM's replay, we'll be making another huge leap down into 45th position where we have Lompe from Team Ferrari at a 44.05, almost breaking into the 43s. And Lompe starting out towards the right. We're mixing very freely now. But let's see, going on top of this polygon. So probably not top apple first. Let's see. Uh, it is. He manages to reach this hang, actually. Very nice style. And let's see, coming up here for this top apple. And then gonna be coming out to the left. Very nice start so far. And does a hang... No, he doesn't even hang. He comes out for the leftmost apple as well. And now he just has the two right-hand apples as well. Is it gonna be the same kind of long jump? It's not. So he's not doing the long jump that we saw before. He comes down for this very, very long hang. But has a lot of speed and hangs this polygon as well. So he can get a nice swing into the top two right apples. Such a beautiful style by Lompe. And let's see, coming in here for the last drop and the flower. But we had seen this style before where you grab the left hand apples first, but we never saw this low jump into a back wheel hang here. So you can hang this polygon and then just a beautiful swing from here out straight out towards the right hand apples. Very nice and creative style. And no more baiting. This time we will actually be making a significant drop from the 45th place and like 47, 46 that we were just watching. We're actually gonna be breaking into the 30s 
and we are going to be watching Jaws replay, which comes in in place 32. Jaws from Team Ivo manages a 42-28, improving almost two seconds on the replay that we just saw. And Jaws in the beautiful shark shirt. Is it going to be this? Yeah, it is the start jump as well. Manages to make it up to the hang here. And let's see. Comes in for the second hang. This is exactly what we saw before. Gets a nice push on the end of that polygon. So awkward if you go the wrong way, but this way it actually helps you. And let's see, good pushes here. Doesn't get the push on the side of that polygon, but manages to continue all the way here. Such a smooth hang where he barely doesn't even touch the hang actually. But comes out, grabs the top two right hand apples. And now he just has that kind of middle left hand apple left. So he comes in for a one wheel hang here. Gonna be swinging up all the way up to this apple. And let's see, now he just has to drop down to the flower and try to avoid everything on the way. Let's see, coming in here, beautiful, catches that just enough to grab the apple and the flower. And from here, we'll be making the hugest leap of all. From 32nd place, where we had Jaws at 42.28, we're seeing Bien in 27th place, a bit surprising actually. We have Kopaka here, Barry P, Dukraft, TM, The U, Hosp. Pelu, Arsenic, Yalli, Munki, Immo, Mi, Jason, Mielz. Mielz in 12th place? Also surprising. We have Astral, Sick Mambo, JT from Team Dot. We have Sveiner coming in in 8th place. We have Finman in 7th place. Really nice to see that Sveiner manages the improvement in the last 10 minutes. It always helps to hoil in the last minutes before the deadline. But we are going to be checking out Finman's replay for the 7th place which is a 39.58. But still, it was only in 10th place where we were above 40 seconds. So a huge improvement considering that. So let's check out Finman's 39.51. So here's Finman and Team Dot style. Coming out towards the right, going on top of this polygon here. Are they also going to be able to jump up to get to the top route? No. He's going low here. Coming out for these left-hand apples first. Gets a nice push, a little bit of wheel compression as well, and going in for these crazy allos. Probably gonna get a nice push here, he does. Coming in for this apple and a one wheel hang so he can push down to get down even faster to these ones. Beautiful Brutal Vault, so clean, so very very clean and gets a nice push here. Comes in for a two wheel hang and just has that left apple left. Let's see, flies all the way throughout everything here, gets a nice stick and hangs the square block and comes in for the flower. Just such a clean run. And let's take a look again, goes very low here with a lean back. So he's able to get that good hang here and releases it to get a good push from the end of that hang. And then, yeah, good vaulting to get the push. And the one wheel hang here I think is very important because then you can push down from the underside of that polygon to get more speed down right here for the Brutal. Coming up and gets a nice push here as well. And then comes in for the two wheel hang. And uh, yeah, just thinking about hanging this block is just crazy but it gets him a good swing in towards the flower. So a beautiful run by Finman, and is that gonna be the Team Dot style? We have seen JT already, but there's still Dot players that we have not seen so far. But from here, we're gonna be watching the top five, and we see Mira getting into sixth place from Team MIE. We have Smibu from Team MIE as well, and in fourth place, we have AKB. Such a great performance by EA's very own AKB but also by Smibu, they are 0.04 from each other and they did use the same style. So what we're gonna do is we will be merging these two replays. AKB in the black and green, Smibu in the red shirt. Let's follow them both and let's put AKB in the foreground to start because he came in fourth, Smibu came in fifth. Both of them starting out here towards the right, so far not much overlap. Pushing out to get a one wheel hang on this polygon below the start and both swinging up. So far very identically, but going inside this polygon to just be able to gas immediately here. And jumping up, Smeebo actually has a tiny bit of a lead so far. Let's switch to Smeebo here as he comes in for this very, very hard... Ah, oh, he doesn't brutal. Smeebo just goes for a low jump and AKB brutals. Okay, let's go back and watch in real time. We'll watch Smeebo first here. He comes up, both of them going below here using a back wheel hang. Smeebo coming out, getting a push from the polygon here. Goes low and jumps up and gets a front wheel hang to push out towards his hang. And we can see that this is where AKB overtakes him. So let's go back and this time we'll follow AKB. Both of them coming up here, using the back wheel hang, braking, coming out, very, going slow so you can get a nice push. AKB goes for a brutal. So he can gas on top of this polygon and get a push on the underside of the next polygon. So AKB just a little bit more clean style than Smibu does there. And let's see, comes out here. Smibu has a little bit more speed out of the hang but maybe not enough to overtake AKB 
And then AKB goes for an end bounce. Smeebu also goes for an end bounce. But AKB just has a slightly more clean finish. And again, here you have AKB doing this brutal gassing. And especially this push on the underside with even more gas lets you get down so much faster. But Smeebo has a higher drop, so he does catch AKB a little bit here in the air. But then in the end, it came down to this end bounce. AKB does an early end bounce, Smeebo does a little bit later, basically not even a bounce. But AKB manages to dodge this polygon here, gets a tiny push from that block as well, and just grabs with the head a tiny bit before Smeebo. Really fun to see how they can be using basically the same style, but still have so huge differences. But let's see if Smeebo's teammate in third place, Audi, used the same style as him. Audi comes in at a mere 0.2 faster than AKB actually. AKB just managing to nestle his way in between the Finnish MIA players here. But I know they use the same main style, so let's merge Audi against AKB this time. And here you have them both. Audi in the famous MSN smiley shirt and AKB you know. Let's follow Audi this time. Let's see, both getting the push out here. AKB going a little bit lower. Let's see who comes out with more speed. It's hard to tell when you're swinging and vaulting, but they're basically neck and neck so far. Audi maybe has a slight lead. Let's see if Audi will go for a Brutal, or if he will also go... No, he also just goes for the... It, it's basically a, a Brutal, but still not. But it's fast enough, so he still has a huge lead on AKB. But remember, uh, Audi only wins by 0.02 seconds. So let's see how AKB will catch him. Nice push by AKB on the block, but let's see. No end bounce by Audi, but AKB just blasts, but doesn't catch up to him. So really nice to see. Let's follow Audi here again. I didn't really get what he was doing. He goes very low on this hang. He has a low push, and then just, yeah, just like a basic break push. I wouldn't even call this a brutal vault. Just pushes up with a little bit of break to get enough height, but he can use the back wheel here, unlike Smeebu, who did a front wheel hang. And yeah, you can tell that Audi has such a big lead over AKB here. Really crazy. But then it all came down to this end bounce that AKB does. So far behind. But he can avoid all the breaking here and avoid the corner. And just like even gets a tiny push from that block. But it's not enough. Audi beats AKB. Team MIE beats Team EA. And that leaves only two runs. The two best runs in this amazing level by ICS. And all I know is that these two players use the same style, but a different style from everybody else. And the two players are Raven at 3890, and we have Zero at 3813. Zero improves a full second on the third place by Audi. And Raven also improves like 0.3, which is an insane time cut when we've been looking at hundreds of a second before. And since I know these players are using different styles, we will be watching Zero's replay first because it's only fair that I react to that replay. And then what we'll do is we'll merge with Raven and see what he did differently and how Zero could beat his own teammate with the same style by almost a second as well. Now I have my theories what this style can be. But let's see what Zero and Team Dot have in store for us this time. Zero starting out towards the left. Is he gonna push from this polygon to come down with a lot of speed, get a break push here, coming up for the right hand apples first? It has to be the brutal style, but let's see. He pushes here, gets a good amount of speed out towards the left here, on top of the hang, and just such an insane brutal, and gets the push on the top of that hang to manage to get up here to the top apple, Nobody else could do it, except for Raven maybe, but getting the last apple here and pushing out. Nice, able to hang that polygon as well without getting stuck. Getting this last apple and coming in for the finish. Just such a crazy style to pull off. And again, let's just take a look at this Brutal Vault because it was so hard to get right. It's really clever to get on top of these hangs because you can push up and get a little bit more height before the Brutal. Coming in with the Olive Vault gets the perfect angle for the brutal and manages to get up here and get the push from this hang as well which was vital to make this gap which he just barely does you see he lands on the very corner and manages to get this apple here and the style even after here was very hard he pushes on the underside goes in for a hang nice auto timing so he can barely grab that apple and still make it over here this was such an insane style for so many reasons but he manages to pull it off huge congrats to zero for the win and for Team Dot for even making this style. And of course, let's bring Raven into the mix as well. 
Such a great comeback by Raven. I haven't seen him in Elma so much before this World Cup started. So it's been really inspiring to see him play so well. And let's follow him as we see where Zero managed to save. About 0.7 I think on Raven's run. There are many places where I see you can lose time. Maybe it was that hang on the block. Maybe it's a brutal. Let's find out. So far they're neck and neck but I wouldn't expect anything less. Let's see. Coming in for the brutal. Just so clean. Just so perfect. Both of them. Just wow, like this is crazy stuff. Zero does manage to, to make a little bit of time here. Is it that extra vault or how is he able to... I'm not sure actually how Zero pulls out ahead so much here. But Raven coming in for the hang as well. And again, just barely grabbing the apple, barely making it over. Both of them getting the hang so clean. I'm so impressed how they managed to get such a clean run. And just coming in for the end here. So it was basically at the Brutal where Zero manages to save so much time. And it only makes sense because the Brutal was so hard to get. You can imagine that it's even harder to get clean. And if we follow Zero here and slow it down a little bit. You can notice that Zero lands on the corner but still gets the wheel up pretty well. You can see Raven in the background. His wheel gets a little bit more stuck there. Just a tiny bit way more out on the corner. It's hard to tell. But that means he has to spend more time just getting up. So you can tell now that Zero has a better grip and can gas way more in the beginning. So that just allows him to get a cleaner hang here. But then both of them doing the ending just perfectly. And those micro movements are impossible for mere mortals like us to even think about in a style like this. But it is how Zero could beat Raven by 0.7 seconds. But again, both of them beating the entire field handily with a style that is just so crazy. You'd think it would have to be an internal level for someone to pull that off. And we can see even Miel says he was trying the brutal style and ruled it after the two days of tries. Rigor attempted the brutal for four days, gave up. And like Miel says, it's not only the brutal but the part after where you have to grab the apple and make it over the polygon. Raven did the brutal about 30 times but only finished twice. So imagine making the brutal over and over again and getting the push here and everything but never finishing because you can't grab the apple and make it above in the same run. But if you did manage to make it, I mean you ended up in second place or in Zero's case first place so it was worth it in the end for the two players that stuck with it. Interesting also to see that Zero made the winning time on Tuesday the 5th of March. So basically two days after the level was released. And compare that to last event where we hoiled for, was it like 37 hours or something? And with that we also see no changes in the top. Zero and Finman holding strong. Audi moving up into third position. We didn't see Tully nor Speff who dropped down. But again, this is without skips. We see AKB making a huge leap up into sixth position. We have Mira staying strong and Miel staying strong in the top five still. And you can really tell that Zero's time was an outlier being driven on the 5th of March. Because you have to go all the way down into 20th place to find someone who drove their time before that. And interestingly, you can see that many people actually got their best time on the deadline, 10th of March. Even in the top four, you have three of the times driven on the last day. And as a reward, if you stayed with us until now, we have two tasks replaced by Cephas that might show the potential of this level. 137 and 132? How is that even possible? Let's check out the first one, 3757 by Cephas. Let's see, starting out towards the left, what start could this be? Is it the brutal side? Oh, he actually, with the wheel pop, manages this first uh, jump without like doing some extra vaulting in the start. Coming in for the hang, we have seen this style before, nice push here, nice wheel compression. Let's see the crazy allos for the good push here on the side. Is it going to be the one wheel hang as well? It is, with the push on the underside. It is the team dot style, right? The Finman wreck that we saw. And then coming up here, we can tell that it's low FPS, it's a little bit jittery. But usually that is the case when it's a toss run. And let's see, nice wheel compression to go very low. Ooh, crazy stick on the end of that polygon. Beautiful SL run. But of course we have one more and it's the 3282. How is that even possible? Let's see, starting out here towards the left as well. Is it going to be the same kind of start? No, it's not. Is it going to be the brutal style? Probably if he's going up here for the top right apples first. But how can he save that much time? Nice little bit of extra gassing there in the jump up. Let's see, coming around, going on the top of this hang. And it is the Brutal. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's a little bit of a, like bug bounce Brutal maybe. And underneath, we were thinking about this style too. But it's just so impossible. And comes up grabbing and pushing out. 
this really nice style. We were actually, when we were considering the brutal style in our team, nice end bounce too, by the way, we were considering this style of going below as well. But uh, yeah, it's just everything here is just too hard to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, crazy level by ICS, crazy replays by so many good players. It's been so much fun to see all of this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.